Shalom, I'm Yashimara. I want to start out by giving infinite honors to my Heavenly Father, my great King, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh by Shem Hirakai Kadash, double honors to our elder apostles and elder bishops, a great millstone, and salutation to my fellow labors in the Mashiach Yahweh Shah, puts in blood, true cross of four ways. Shalom to you, brothers. All right, this sit down is inspired by um, a guy that be on the comment board a lot. Uh, in fact, he's been on it so much that I end up talking to the guy. I, Exchanged numbers with him one time, and we communicated some time back. And um, he probably gonna see this video, but what transpired between us, um, I say some edification could come out of this. You know, this is an exhortation to brothers that are looking at the videos. You're fully persuaded. You feel that this is the truth, all right? And you are saluting on the comment boards. You're posting scriptures. All right, y'all got to know that this truth is a process. Once you get fully persuaded, you know this is the truth, and you have a camp in your city, all right, you got a company of men prophesying, and you drive, you, it's driver's distance. Let's say, even say if you're an hour away, all right, you got to go to the church. You got to be active. You got to be <clears throat> you got to be on deck physically, all right? Just having your pom-poms, cheerleading behind the camera gets old, Okay. You have to go get joined to the body, all right? And what inspired this is the guy, uh, I'm not going to say his name, but i say a year or so ago, I've been talking to him probably a year, if not a year, eight months. He used to be on every video I did, commenting, commenting, commenting. Then one day I went to his page and I was like, whoa, dude, down here in my city. So I hit him up on the comment board and we conversed and he'll be on all the comment boards and um, we eventually talk. So I'm no nonsense. I'm like, well, look, man, you've been on the comment board a long time. It's time for you to come out. And guy had like excuses. He said something was going on with his mother, or transportation or whatnot. Look, the law not dealing with excuses. When you come to serve the Lord, you got to work anything going out of your life. The truth has to become the center of your life, not your job, your mother, or your situation. Now, we're not over-righteous. If you got situations, you pray to the Lord to make a way for you to come to, to the body and learn of him, all right? But over time, man, you got you got to make a way. Uh, that guy, uh, 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 what's the guy that almost took down wrong? Hannibal. He have a he have a quiz quoted saying, "If there isn't a way, we're gonna make a way." You know, he's quoted saying that he was one of the greatest conquerors in the ancient world, Hannibal. All right, uh, of Carthage. Uh, all right, and um, he say, "If you don't, if, if there isn't a way, we're gonna make a way." You know, so you gotta make a way to get to the prophets because they. That's what that's the altar of Yahweh by Shema That's where you're gonna get fed. That's where you're gonna learn of the Lord. Okay. So the brother called me. I hadn't talked to the brother in months. I'm talking about months. I, I hadn't totally forgot about him. And he called me a couple of days ago, very hysteric, hysterical, amped up. I'm talking about amped up. I'm like, whoa, brother, calm down, calm down. And he was like, hey man, uh, you the only one that, that came to my mind to call. He said, man, I just seen somebody get flatlined in my face. He just, you know, he just seen somebody get killed. He was like, yeah, man, the guys pulled up. They had on uh, ski masks, and I just saw it, and he said he amped the guy up and shot him up while he was on the ground. He was like, I was looking at the window. I seen everything. He said, I'm all shook up, you know, because, you know, it's not every day you see somebody get blasted. <laughs> You know, but and you got to get used to it because that's going to be a common thing in America in the coming days. All right. So I'm like, man, I haven't talked to this brother in so long. And he calling me, telling me this. So he calls and tell me when it happens. And then later on that day, I see it on the news. All right. So I'm like, well, damn, that's the same apartments I used to live in. I used to live in those apartments. My baby mama, uh, before I had my, we made my first child. That's where. She was there, you know, me and her moved in together. And, you know, you know how it be when you're young and dumb. I, well, I actually, she had the apartment, then I moved in with her, you know, and uh, I actually stayed in those apartments. So when I seen it on the news, <coughs> I said, that's in my section. I ain't know the brother li literally lived in those apartments. Then Baton Rouge is so small, 
I even know the dude that got hit up. One of them died and four other ones got hit. All right. And one of those guys, I knew I knew him through my baby mother's son. All right. And the guy that got one of the guys that got hit up. He got two brothers that already got killed. All right. He got he, his when well, he got hit the other day. He was with one of his brothers when he got killed and his oldest brother got killed some years ago. So he's his mother have two sons left and he his ass. He ain't going to learn from this. He probably going to end up getting killed down the road. But this time he, they, they hit him in the leg and broke his leg. But I know him through my baby mother's son. My baby mother's son used to kick it with the little dude, you know. So I'm like, damn, brother. Well, the Lord let you see that. You sound like you're horrified. That could be happening to you. All right. Because. The Lord let things happen. The Lord talked to us in, in various ways. Let me get that. The Lord don't talk audibly to us. He talked to us through scenarios, actions, and other people. All right, this is uh, Hebrews 1 and 1. All right, Yahweh, who had sundry times in the diverse manners, you see? That word divers and diverse is one and the same. The diverse manner spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. All right, so the Lord talked to us through scenarios, all right? You got to learn how to read things. and That was probably a warning from the Lord telling you to hurry up and come to the church and get your ass right. Don't be tearing. You could be next. That was close to home. It was where you went outside and you was able to see it, all right? You know the truth. If you brothers that know the truth that are behind these keyboards and you just scared to come out, hey, you don't have much time to come out, all right? You don't have much time to come out. All right, the Lord will knock your ass off. Once you get fully persuaded, you got to come because the time is short. The time is at hand, okay? The time is at fucking hand. There's no time to be lollygagging, procrastinating, and tarrying to come to the Lord. In fact, let me get that. This is uh, the book of Sirach. Just start off with the banger. This is uh, Sirach 5 and 7. And it's written. Okay, make no tearing to turn to your how about Shemel shot and put not off from day to day. All right. You looking at the videos. All right. You feel it's the truth. You taking notes. All right. What's next? You got to come get joined to the body for suddenly shall the wrath of your will come forth. Okay. You pass procrastinate being slothful in business. Should the Lord uh, knock you off in your security. Okay. For, for, for uh, not coming to him with great haste. And in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. You don't want that. All right? You don't want to be lukewarm, man. All right? The Lord is, you're fortunate where you look at these videos and it's reconciling with your spirit. The Lord has opened your eye, opened your ear, unplugged your ears and took the scale off your eyes so you feel it's the truth. All right? You got to do, do what you got to do next. All right? And get your ass destroyed. You don't have an excuse. Men, men that look at these videos and feel it's the truth, you don't have an excuse when it comes to your heart by Shema Shah. Okay? This is Psalms. The book of Psalms 119. Well, this isn't going to be long. Uh, I'm going to start at verse 59. All right? And it's written, I thought on my ways and turned my feet unto thy testimonies. I made haste. <laughs> I like that word haste. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. You see, you got to make haste to come to the Lord. All right? You got to come bring fruit meat for repentance. You got to think on the foul shit we've done. All right? You you learned that the the, the sin is transgression of the law, so you, you learned that you lived a life of uh, continuously transgressing, just a life of iniquity, perpetual sin. All right, so you got to come bring fruit me for repentance and get from behind that keyboard with your pom-poms and come get active, man. Come learn how to get these weapons of war, man. All right, come get fit for the battle. Make you ready for the battle. Come get this helmet of salvation, best play the righteousness. All right, buckle of truth, sword of the spirit, shield of faith, and, 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 and shoes of peace, gospel of the shoes of peace. You know, shot it with the gospel of peace, the shoes, you know, roughly paraphrasing. All right? We're not cheerleaders, man. Okay? 
The Lord is raising up an end of time on it, army, all right? When you're fully persuaded, man, you got to come be active in this thing of ours, all right? This is uh, the book of uh, Isaiah, chapter 55, verse 6. Is written, is written, Seek ye Yahweh by Shemiah Shah, why he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. He's not going to always be near. All right, a famine of the word is coming. You're not going to always find brothers that have this knowledge that's going to be able to teach you. The Lord is going to call his prophets back. He's going to take them off the highways and tell them to go be, be ye pilgrims in the earth. All right? And, then, and brothers going to be just going through Jacob's trouble. All right? So you got to seek the Lord while he may be found, while this internet's still up, while brothers are still out there teaching. Because the Lord is about to pull the brothers off the car off the uh, highways, man. All right? And if you don't, this is what's going to befall your ass. Uh, yeah, I want to get this in the NLT. Okay, this is Proverbs. I'm going to get in the NLT. You know, this is that warning. We always bring the scripture out. It's thorough. When you read it in the NLT, it's thorough. <laughs> All right, this is our Proverbs 1 and 23. Come and listen to my counsel. I'll share my heart with you and make you wise. I called you so often, but you wouldn't come. When the Lord is calling you is when you're looking at videos. That's him calling you. All right, because if you look at any brothers in Great Millstone, they're going to tell you you got to come out to the highways and byways. All right? The other apostles are always told us, get from behind them computers and be active. All right? Come serve. I reached out to you, but you paid no attention. All right? You're looking at the videos, but you're not being active. All right? You, you, all right? You, you, you heard the call and many a call, but few are chosen. Okay? You ignored my advice and rejected the correction I offered. All right? And his correction is, come learn of me. And the way you learn of, he, of him, the Lord is going to raise up men to teach thee, okay? So you have to come and uh, to the camp and, and learn of the Lord, all right? And you're not going to be able to do that much longer. So I will laugh when you're, you are in trouble. I will mock when your disaster overtakes you. And when calamity overtakes you like a storm, when disaster engulfs you like a cyclone and anguish and distress overwhelm you, when the cry for help, I would not, and when, and when they cry for help, I would not answer. Though they anxiously search for me, they will not find me. So the day going to come where you're going to look for the Lord, you're not going to be able to find him because you didn't come do it during the time that you were able. You tear it coming to him. So you got to take advantage of this grace period and seek the Lord while he may be found because the day going to come since you uh, played around and you were slothful in business, is, is, is going to uh, be a detriment to your lifespan, man. All right? Now is the time. All right? I mean, if, if, if the guy that see this video, man, hey, you inspired this, man. You need to stop playing and get your ass out there and come learn of the Lord, man. Lord ain't playing. Just like what you see happen to them dudes that are happening to you. Man, I know dude. I know, I, I know one of them dudes that you see uh, get whacked, man. It's a small fucking world, man. And, and it's about to happen to everybody. It's, that's going to be a common thing. Like, hey, that's another thing. Y'all got to, we got to, all of us got to ask the Lord for more his, his spirit, more wisdom to sustain us. Because if you get shaky about seeing blood, guts, and octane, you ain't going to get through Jacob's trouble. All right? It's about to be common to see people getting their brains splattered, and bodies dismembered, people becoming cannibals and getting ran over by cars and getting their, getting beheaded. That's about to be a common theme in America, all right? America is, be, is about to be become a, a, a ferocious jungle where life is cheap. You're going to see blood rolling in the streets, man. All right? So with that, I don't want to write this out. This was edifying to the hearers. I want to get infinite honors to our Heavenly Father and our Great King. Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem, Yahweh Kakadash. Double honors to our elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone. And salutation to our fellow labors in the Mashiach Yahweh Shai, pussy and blood, true cross of four ways. Kwame Yasharala, Abba Baba.